Hi friends, today our topic is standard Laplace distribution or double exponential distribution. Its definition is a continuous random variable x is said to follow a standard Laplace distribution if its PDF is of the form f of x is equal to 1 by 2 e raised to minus mod x for x belongs to R. Uh, now first of all we will derive the sorry characteristic function of standard Laplace distribution. By the definition of characteristic function phi x t is equal to expectation of e raised to i t x which is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e raised to i t x into f of x dx which is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e raised to i t x into f of x is 1 by 2 e raised to minus mod x dx. which is equal to 1 by 2 integral minus infinity to infinity e power i t x can be written as cos t x plus i sin t x into e power minus mod x d x e raised to i t x can be written as cos t x plus i sin t x so integral minus infinity to infinity cos t x plus i sin tx into 1 by 2 e raised to minus mod x dx which is equal to 1 by 2 into integral minus infinity to infinity cos tx e raised to minus mod x dx plus i by 2 into integral minus infinity to infinity sin tx e power minus mod x dx. The second one is an odd function. So, the value of this integral will be 0 and the first one is an even function so I can write it as 2 into integral 0 to infinity cos tx e raised to minus mod x dx. Within the limit 0 to infinity mod x is equal to x so I can write it as integral 0 to infinity cos tx e raised to minus x dx. Applying integration by parts, first function into, first of all we should arrange this term that is integral 0 to infinity, e power minus x should be written as the first function, cos tx dx. Now we can apply the integration by parts rule, first function into integral of second that is sin tx by t 0 to infinity minus integral of derivative of first into integral of second which is equal to applying this limit the first term will be 0 that is e power minus infinity will be 0 and sin 0 will be 0 totally it will be 0 uh, which is equal to 1 by t into integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus x sin tx dx which is equal to 1 by t into again we can apply integration by parts rule here first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first into e raised to minus x integral of second minus sorry cos tx by t dx which is equal to 1 by t into applying this limit the first term will be 1 by t and minus 1 by t integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus x cos tx dx integral 0 to infinity minus e raised to minus x cos tx dx is phi x t so I can write it as 1 by t square minus 1 by t square phi x t. Our LHS is phi x t. So phi x t is equal to 1 by t square minus 1 by t square phi x t. This term can be taken to the left hand side. So phi x t 
into 1 plus 1 by t square is equal to 1 by t square. So, 5xt is equal to 1 by t square into t square by 1 plus t square. Finally, our characteristic function will be 1 by 1 plus t square. This is the characteristic function of a standard Laplace distribution. Now we are going to discuss the two parameter Laplace distribution. The definition is a continuous random variable x is said to have a double exponential distribution with parameters lambda and mu if its PDF is of the form f of x is equal to 1 by 2 lambda e power minus mod x minus mu by lambda. Here x belongs to the real number and lambda should be greater than 0 and no restriction for mu. Now we are going to derive the characteristic function of a double exponential distribution or two parameter Laplace distribution. For that we are considering a result that is if y follows a double exponential or Laplace distribution with parameter parameters mu and lambda then x is equal to y minus mu by lambda will follow a standard Laplace or Laplace distribution with 0 and 1. In the previous section we have, der uh, we have derived the characteristic function of x that is standard Laplace distribution which was phi x t is equal to 1 by 1 plus t square. Now we want the characteristic function of y or the Laplace distribution with two parameters. Phi y t is equal to phi. Y is equal to from this relation we can write y as mu plus lambda x t. By the properties of characteristic function I can write it as e power i mu t into phi x lambda t which is equal to e power i mu t into phi x t was 1 by 1 plus t square. So, phi x lambda t will be 1 by 1 plus lambda square t square. So, the characteristic function of a double exponential distribution is equal to e power mu i t divided by 1 plus lambda square t square. Thank you for watching.